I am not confident. <laughs> not even a little bit. Leading the charge is the Templar, who will be doing air damage to the front. Poor Ragnarok is going to eat this, as she does, of course. I guess we'll be going with Terrified. That shouldn't... Yeah, it's not going to trigger the Flame Shield. The Onomosha dealing fire damage to the front and applying Flame Shield to himself. Holy shite, Okay. Well... That was something. <laughs> and the Hellbringer is here. You know, doing Hellbringer things. This could be bad. This could be really bad. I was kind of expecting this to do something. I'm not sure what, but something. Bellicor can eat this, but he's going to instantly die to her. I guess the cleave? I don't know. Oh, he didn't instantly die. Very nice. Ramsey did. Ramsey instantly died. Oh my goodness gracious. And now Bellicor is dead because of the vulnerability. He can't even make use of the Fang of Melinda. All right. I don't even know what to do here. My air resistance is absolutely shite. Maybe because of the demoralization, I should try and get... Oh, dear. I should try and do morale damage and apply tiredness for the boss. Ugh. Maybe haunting is going to be the play here? You fought well, mortals. Fuck you. you fought well, mortals. So, I'm hoping that haunting... Oh no, I'm so fucked. Damn. Uh, looks like a lot more paperwork. Well, something, something, not great. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw that coming. So we are being opposed by a sorceress. A shadow. And an invoker. All of them. Attacking the front with an unholy amount of... Please don't die. An unholy amount of damage. An unholy amount of damage. Slow five might be the way. It's lower front. We'll try frostbane. Oh my. Okay. Now, of course, our first, our second room here is the murder room. She's not... She's pretty resilient against ice damage, but now she's silenced. Oh my goodness. Are we sure I didn't turn on strong enemies? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> wow. Holy shit, balls. <laughs> Everything hurts. Wow. I don't even know what to do here. All of this damage is obscene. Wow. Okay. Um. I might die. What the fuck? All right. I give up. <laughs> I have no idea how to clear this with my current composition. I've tried like four or five times. 
but the raw damage out of the shadow is just too damn high. 50% bonus damage to people at their max life has just been executing my entire front line. No one is faster than the shadow on my team. And no one has enough nature resistance to just eat the bonus 50% damage. Not even Putricide, who has the most. So, uh, we're fucked, is where I'm going with this. Yeah. Ironically, the chef, who's off on a mission, wouldn't be horrible against the Sork and might be able to eat this bonus damage. But even then, he's just going to get absolutely destroyed by uh, the Sork's damage once her turn comes around. But that, alas is my second failure on this banner. What the heck? What am I gonna do? I even got super lucky with the Ajara and Niflheim leveling up. That was supreme luck. But it looks like that luck shall not avail me. It's only a fracture. Let me check in the ossuary, see if we can replace it. It turns out there are, in fact, two cruxes to our plan. But the first and most important one is that we have the Staff of Speech, meaning that our team composition, whoo, mother of pearl, is pretty much set in stone. I actually think I can prevent Sir Gracule from dying if I switch the team comp up, but we, in order to use the Staff of Speech, we need a Skeleton, a Demon, and a Psychopomp in the same room. Now, of course, if I find out this isn't gonna work, we can just do whatever we want, but we'll be missing out on this fat plus 30% Demai. So what is the second crux? Well, my friends, we are incredibly weak to nature damage, even with three stacks of tiredness, which is now two. The shadow, the motherfucker, uh, hits our Gracul for 116 damage. That's a lot of damage. And, um, of tremendous concern to me. So, I was hoping... Yes, okay, take out will live. That's good. The Amazon... Wow. Leads the charge, dealing center... A monstrous amount of nature damage to the center. It'll ricochet to the person behind her if she kills that person. The Shadow, the Great Demon... Is going to be dealing a buttload of nature damage to the front and dealing bonus damage to something that's at full health. Which means he pretty much just one taps whatever he goes up against. Which is going to be Yogg Sothoth in a second. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Because Gluttony got this debuff. I would like to do this. But if I occult ritual, all of them are going to take 42 morale damage, which is a lot. I'm not sure which is better. I'm going to do this. Because, of course, Gluttony, oh dear god, is going to full heal. Oh dear. Uh, I realized when I was setting up the teams that I don't have a morale-dealing psychopomp in this room. So, there's that. I think Papyrus can go... Yeah, Papyrus can be the fastest here. He's the only person. I might have to redo the rooms, but... At least Papyrus will get a turn here. He's gonna get poisoned by the bitch, but... I think I'm going to have to restart here. We're going to have to reboot and we won't be able to use the Staff of Speech in the first room. Look how close we are. We're almost there. This could be doable. Maybe. You almost had me I do have 10 nature damage resistance. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Okay. Alright. I think I've got it. Oh, I had to make a change in the first room. I had to bring out Robespierre, which is why uh, the shadow here has no morale. 
And I'm pretty sure Papyrus' occult ritual is going to be enough here to break this. Kaelthos is going to fall to the poison. Oh, you live barely. Oh, and he's shattered. And that, my friends. What? What the fuck? Looks like the treasure management department is going to need a budget increase. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined.